Hi. Welcome to Ancient Game Museum. This is quickest and simplest PCSX2 1.7 nightly build setup guide. Once you've extracted the PCSX2 v1.7 nightly build Windows X64 QT zip pack, you'll see this folder. Create a desktop shortcut for quick access and then double click this executable file. A setup wizard welcome screen will appear. Click next to proceed to the BIOS image setup. I'm unable to provide BIOS files here as it could involve legal issues. You can easily find them by searching on Google. Click, browse, and navigate to your BIOS files folder. You will see a list of your BIOS files here. Choose the appropriate BIOS for the game you intend to play. Select the BIOS that matches the game's compatibility. Now, click add or browse to set up your game ISO directory. Click, yes, and allow it to scan the directory you've selected. Select your preferred controller type or choose the automatic mapping option, which will map your controller or keyboard automatically. Click next and then click finish. The application should launch within one to two seconds and an update available option might also appear. If you wish, click download update. Click OK. Then, navigate to System, and in the Settings, check the Start Full Screen option. Next, proceed to configure the graphic settings. Navigate to Graphic. Choose Direct 3D12 Hardware as the renderer. In the Adapter option, select your GPU. Set the aspect ratio and FMV aspect ratio override to widescreen, and enable the widescreen patches. Navigate to Rendering, and set the internal resolution to 3x native, for full HD 1080p. If your GPU is more powerful, you can choose a higher resolution. Set the anisotropic filtering to x16. Anisotropic filtering makes distant objects in games look sharper. It works by improving the appearance of textures viewed at a steep angle. Depending on your PC and the game, anisotropic filtering may provide visual benefits with only a small performance impact. FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, is an anti-aliasing technique used in the PCSX2. It is less demanding on hardware compared to other anti-aliasing methods like MSAA, Multi-Sample Anti-Aliasing, FXAA can be used as a post-aw effect in PCSX2 to improve image quality. This is optional. Tick it if desired. OSD stands for on-screen display. Check these options if you want to see the status displayed during gaming. Next, I'm connecting my Xbox controller via Bluetooth. The game bar will appear once your Xbox controller is connected. Windows has excellent compatibility with X input controllers, with Microsoft's Xbox Series controller offering the best compatibility. If necessary, you can find more information in the link below the description field. Moreover, in this version, you can also use the DualShock 4 or DualSense controller. This version includes drivers to ensure compatibility. If your controller is an X input type, enable X input input source. If it's an SDL type, enable DIN input input source. Proceed to controller port 1. You can configure it manually or use automatic mapping to map your input device. If you're using a USB device as the input, click USB port 1. You can also set up the hotkeys if needed. Once done, click close to finish the controller setup. For easier viewing, you can change the game list view by clicking view and selecting game list. Additionally, you have the option to set a cover image by manually adding the image. I'm not displaying it here because that could potentially lead to legal issues concerning intellectual property rights. After completing all the settings, we can finally start the game. Right-click the game and choose Fast Boot to boot the game. Your game should start within a few seconds. To exit full screen mode, press the ESC key. But remember, this won't fully close the program. For a complete exit, go to System, then select Exit. That wraps up the quickest and easiest tutorial for PCSX2 version 1.7 nightly build. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and share.